Yo, what is going man? It is your boy Noskip, back at y'all with another video, and today's video I'm going to be doing, um, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys my build and all that, so, anyways, before I, um, give you guys this build, um, I have something to say, alright? I recently got banned on PlayStation for supposedly, so some guy was not hopping, I, I, I told some guy, hop on the spot, you know? He was literally texting me, hop on the spot, so I hop on the spot, and then he backed out after. I said, I'm hop, I'm like, hop on the spot and all that you know i was we were both calling each other out and then supposedly i did something wrong so he reported me on playstation and now i got a seven day ban and i was i when i found that out i was pissed because i was already gonna upload a video from the um you know i was already gonna share the video from my from playstation to yt studio which is youtube studio and all that and yeah i was now i literally have to be on a different account i can't make content i can't even grind on the rep i can't do nothing like that y'all so, at least I can make this video. A lot of you guys have been actually asking for my build and all that, you know. And then, yeah, I'm going to be doing a build video. So, this build is actually the best point guard build. To me, like, it's actually the best point guard build in the game. There's no other better point guard in this game. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a point guard, y'all. So, anyways, so we're going to go right-handed, by the way. We're going to be a point guard and then handed. I don't care what y'all do. I just chose right, so if I were you, I would choose right as well. Number, you do, it doesn't really matter. And then, the, for the pie chart, you're gonna want this one. Look, I'll even zoom into it. Look, that's the pie chart you're gonna want. Because I used that for 2K20, it was good, and 2K21, now it's OP, so yeah, you choose this pie chart. You know, I, I highly su suggest you choose that pie chart because that's the one you use for this video. So, why, what other pie chart would you use for this video? Um, anyways, you're gonna want to choose the first part, uh, pie chart on this one too, look, yeah, this is the, f the first one, y'all, the first one, not the second one, not the third one, no, the, the first, so yeah, and then you're gonna want to max out your mid-range, max out your three-pointer, max out your free throw, and then don't max out your post-feed yet, max out all everything, max out everything on your playmaking, y'all, and then max out everything on your defense as well, just max out everything on your defense, Okay, so you're gonna do, you're gonna take four off, and I, my bad, five off. Take, yeah, take, take six off, my bad. Take six off, and you're gonna max out your shooting. Put it 25 shooting badges, max out everything, bro. So you're gonna have 25 shooting, 24 playmaking, and 10 defense, 10 defense, and just fuck finishing, honestly. So just, yeah, just do that, and then yeah, and for the body shape, just you can do whatever you want. I put I'm putting built because it's LeBron. I I cannot imagine LeBron this this skinny. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go built, y'all. The height last year I was six four, but this year two six three, so it doesn't affect anything. And then for the weight, I chose one eighty. So you can have more speed, more acceleration, the strength is like whatever's, and then yeah. And then for the wingspan, put it all the way down. I know y'all are <gasps> on the uh, defense right there. But it doesn't really matter, honestly, man. I mean, at, at the end of the day, your three-point is going up. Your mid-range is going up. Your ball handling is going up. Your strength is going up. So, yeah, just put it all the way up. Put it all the way down. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. If, if you put it all the way up, yeah, yeah, you're going to be really good on defense. But your three-pointer will go down and all that. So, put it all the way down. And then for the takeover, you're gonna want spot up shoot take. And yeah, that's how you that's how you make the play shot. Now we're not done with this video. I know you you guys have also been asking for the badges. What badges should I use, Nas? Nas, what badges should I use for the game? Nas, what's the best badges for shooting? Well, I'm gonna give you all the badges for um, finishing, which is not really good. Shooting, playmaking, and defensive. That's those are the badges I'm gonna give you all right now. So for Finishing, just just choose slithering finisher. Honestly, it's good. It's, I mean, it's, what other what other finishing bats can you possibly use? But yeah, just use that one. And then this is what's really gonna matter. So you're gonna want green machine on Hall of Fame, okay? And then put dead eye on bronze. And then um, put hot zone hunter on Hall of Fame, range extender on Hall of Fame, so you can shoot from far and all that half court. Volume shooter on Hall of Fame. And then put um, let's see, difficult shots on Hall of Fame. And then I think you choose. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let me see what other one I'm gonna choose. I think. 
And then, actually, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna put dead eyes on Braun. You know what, yeah. We're gonna use flexible release, y'all. So yeah, those th these are the badges you're gonna wanna use. Literally, so, yeah. That's pretty much it, you know. And then, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it for um, shooting. And then for playmaking, you're gonna want um, handles for days on Hall of Fame, quick first step on Hall of Fame, unpluckable on Hall of Fame, tight handles on Hall of Fame, and then you're gonna want space creator, so you create space. And then for this one, mm, if you wanna pass to your teammates, you know, and have them open shot, choose diamond, but you know, if you wanna handle the ball, you know, if I were you, I would choose on um, floor channel. I would choose ankle breaker, but it's really broken this year, so just choose just choose these playmaking badges. Those are actually really accurate. So yeah, just confirm it. And then for defense, you're gonna really want to know about this. So put clamps on gold because you, you need to guard the perimeter and you got your guard and all that, you know. And then put intimidator on gold as well. And then put pig dodger because um you know a lot of you guys hate when you're um trying to go through screen but like all these centers are literally setting screens and they're blocking you so just yeah put pick dodger on on gold yeah i highly suggest and then just put interceptor because like let's say if someone's trying to like you know do a pass on two's course and you just intercept it they'll get mad trust me so yeah these are the badges they don't want to use and the jump shot i'll do a jump shot video soon y'all i actually have the perfect jump shot for this build y'all I've been, you know, researching and all that, not like researching, but like navigating through the game, trying to see what's the best jump shot, and I think I found it for you guys, but I'll probably do that for next video, you guys, but yeah, um, other than that, that'll be it for the video, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, I'll be back with y'all soon, I gotta get caught up with school now that I'm not low-key doing, not bad, but I'm, I'm low-key doing kind of bad, so I'll, um, catch y'all later, peace out, y'all,